I'm back with another video. This one's a little different, and you might be wondering what those Japanese black and white 2 games are doing on my 3DS. Well, having these makes it easier to get what I'm about to show you, so let's take a look. These are my shiny Pokemon! Yay! My own shinies box, nice. So, we got my Litwick who I found in the wild while Eevee training Eevee to be a Jolteon that's where I was getting a special attack up and I just encountered one and I was like whoa it was my first 5th gen shiny and it was just like when it like appeared on the screen I noticed the flame was different it was just like everything stopped although it didn't really because it kept moving like towards you know, the right side of the screen, like, you know, the top right corner where, like, the enemy Pokemon is. Or the opposing Pokemon. And then I, I just threw a Premier Ball and caught it. Like, I, I, it's cool. And then here's a Dino. I hatched that thing. And coincidentally, and, like, fortunately, I should say, like, I hatched it on the same egg run. I hatched my competitive one. It was just like, whoa. And then here's... One of my shiny Eevees. There's another one of my shiny Eevees. And there's the last shiny Eevee. So there's three shiny Eevees. Yep. Three of them. And then my shiny Espeon, which I got at regionals. And here's my first Sableye. Second Sableye. And third Sableye. Ugh. I was haunted by these things. All of them are garbage. Look. Stall, keen eye, stall. Three shiny Sableyes and no prankster. Like, two of them had the nature I wanted. No prankster. Stall. Like, ugh. it's It was just so sick and just, I was haunted by that thing for a while. It was just so, ugh. It just makes me mad thinking about it. And you want to know what else? Back at regionals on the Queen Mary, I battled a friend, and I lost to a Sableye that I gave him. Like, it's it just haunts me. Like, I'm afraid to breed shinies. I'm afraid to breed Sableyes. I'm like afraid I'm just gonna get shinies right away, and it it, it freaks me out because I'm like afraid it's gonna be garbage, and it's just, I just don't want to deal with Sableye. Like, I like I like using it, but like. I named my, my competitive one Little Man, but it's just, it's scary. It's scary. So there are three of them, and then there's my Nidoran male. Pretty cool guy. Kind of called that one. I was like, I applied the five W's to my next shiny Pokemon, and I got it within days. It was pretty weird. And there's my first shiny Starly, and then there's my second one. Nice, I like the I like Star Raptor a lot, and then I got two shinies. One was without the Masuda method. Like almost all these other ones that I hatched were Masuda method, but Starly was not. And we got my shiny Star U. I hatched that on my way up to regionals in Pleasanton. I told my friend Albert I'd hatch shiny Star U's until I got a shiny one. And I got one within thirty minutes, like Got one before we even met up with our friend Justin. It was we went to pick Justin up in North Hollywood, and we got this before we got Justin. It was pretty cool. And this one, I love this one so much. Look how cute that is. Shiny shield on. Look at that. It's like so precious and cute. Like just want to give it a hug and scratch his back and you know pet his head and maybe like scratch his forehead. Above his eyebrow. Like, that thing would be dope. Like, I love that thing. And this beautiful fly, my brother caught that in third gen, and then he gave it to me because he knows I like moth and butterfly Pokemon. And this right here was given to me by my friend One Arm Matt. I gave him a pretty, like, a flawless Dream World, timid Dream World Eevee that I hatched. 31's in everything except for attack had hidden power dragon which was uh, but Dr dream world and timid I gave that to my friend one arm Matt and he gave me this 
And this was my first viable shiny Breloom. My name Rune Boggle, because Rune Boggle likes Breloom so much. This guy is awesome. He used to force so many rage quits when I would play with him in doubles. I think I'm thinking I'm gonna bring him back just to show you guys some rage quits. And this guy right here hatched this guy like four days ago. Shiny Arbok. Well, it was Ekans when I hatched it, but like I leveled him up and EV trained it and shit. Careful Intimidate, Fire Gem. You got, don't question the move set, guys. I got a plan, and I can't wait to show you guys this guy in action. And Vent Pokemon, Suicune, Entei, Raikou, Japanese Hydreigon that I got in my Japanese game. It's a Japanese Wi-Fi event. Shiny Raichu, and Red Gyarados that no one cares about. And then we got Rayquaza that I got. Nobunaga's Rayquaza. So let's like take a look at when I got these guys. Litwick. I got Litwick on March 30th, 2011. Wow, it was like over two years ago. Dino was April 29th, 2011. Birthday's coming up. We'll celebrate. Ooh, July 7th. This Eevee's a Cancer. Maybe he's lonely. Eevee makes me sad. We got Modest. May 21st. They're Birthstones and Emerald, Eevee. And this one. April 3rd. You just turned two. You're like, just turned two less than two weeks ago, Eevee. You're awesome. And this one I got it at regionals. You got VGC 10. I was trying to get Shiny Eevee for so long. Like, hatch so many eggs. Soft reset in front of that Eevee ball and fire red leaf green try to get like I can't tell you how much time I spent trying to get it and like I never did until VGC 2010 but then I've hatched three since then and I plan on hatching three more before X and Y come out which is not going to be a problem <laughs> shiny has been shiny starlet I got that one October 27th 2011 cool cool your Scorpio Starly. This one is January 14th, 2013. This one's a Capricorn. This one was hatched by Lala. That's my White 2 version. And we got my Timid Nidoran who was hatched on April 28th. Oh, your birthday is the day before. Was it my Dino? Cool, your birthday's coming up. I gotta celebrate your guys' birthdays. Nice. We got Sableye. January 20th. This one's. March 19th. Well, remember March 19th. But remember January 20th? This one was January 19th. I actually hatched two sh freaking shiny save lives within a 24 hour period. And they both sucked. Ugh. Shiny Star U is April 14th. Wait, that was like two days ago. I miss your birthday, Star U. Oh, Star U, I'm sorry. Happy late birthday. Oh, shoot, I forgot his birthday. Shield on November 3rd. Same day as my mom. Yeah, the same birthday as my mom, Shield on. Beautiful Eye, ugh. 4 8 2011. I think that's because he got transferred over on that day. Jude, my brother. And then Ruby. Guess that's probably one of one of one arm match file. Nine twenty nine, September twenty ninth, twenty eleven. Breloom, March nineteenth, twenty twelve, just like that other Sableye. Yeah. And then careful Arbok is four eleven twenty thirteen. Yeah. Which was four days ago or five days ago I should say. And then we got Gyarados. No one cares about Gyarados. I caught that in my Platinum game. Or not my Platinum, my Heart Gold. HG, Mercury, get it? Haha. <laughs> GameStop. Japanese event one. I can't read that. GameStop. Winter 2011. GameStop. Nobunaga. 
Yup. Alright guys, thanks for watching. And good luck guys. Remember, when you if you want shinies, you gotta set yourself with the best up with the best odds possible and just 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 run it. Just run the machine. You'll eventually get them. Having these Japanese versions do help does help. But if you don't have those, just you know go online, find a place to trade online and get some Japanese ones and yeah. Alright guys. If you guys you know if you want any Japanese Pokemon to breed, just let me know and I'll try to supply you with a Japanese Pokemon with some you know, maybe like two or three thirty ones and a desired nature. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Take care.